In the early years of the 21st century, terrorism was used by governments across the world as a pretext to scare their populations into submission. Life became a surveillance grid nightmare, with every individual's actions ruthlessly catalogued and recorded by the state. Secret arrests, checkpoints, and warrantless searches spread. The final incremental march of the police state, culminating in open martial law. This is the story of how the elite sold their people into slavery and scared the once proud and brave people of the West into submitting to being cannon fodder in wars for world domination.
place and you become trapped in the depths of sin. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. Hey, they talking that, that gangsta shit. They ain't about that, man, matter of fact. Hey, they my strap. Show me where they at, I stop them from talking like that. Hey, they talking that, that gangsta shit. They ain't about that, man, matter of fact. Hey, they my strap. Show me where they at, I stop them from talking like that, that, that. Yeah.
torture chambers, secret passageways, vats of acid, and deadly vaults. Deadly vaults. Deadly vaults.
your life. marketing tool, pre-scripted, pre-groomed, you can really watch the machine at work. You know there's no way that these DJs, you, all you have to do is listen to the sounds of their voices, and you know there's no way that they're going to like go into a record store and like look for something. They don't have any control over what's played, it's just like set out in front of them, it's all like pre-recorded. Five companies who sell 80% of the music in the world. Four of these five are massive conglomerates, and the fifth one is no small fry in itself. Well, you know, the nature of a monopoly is to perpetuate itself in its own image and not to innovate. Something with depth. You can't do that overnight. It cannot be done. Not participating. In a, in, a, in a corporate system, which I think homogenizes music, commercializes it, co-ops it, and, you know, basically uh, takes culture from people and sells it back to them, sucks, sucks the life out of it. But even though music is the popular medium, it's the people's medium, it really isn't the people's medium in our society today. It's the property of four or five companies who have inordinate control over what sort of music gets produced and what sort of music doesn't. Green is the bottom line to them, and by any means necessary, you know, they treat records and music um, as somebody would treat Brillo pads or, or Frito-Lay's chips. They don't give a damn about the creative umbrella that's underneath it. <laughs> These are business people. So they feel personally no attachment to the art that's underneath them. Popular music is amazing because it's a campaign of fear and consumption. And that's what I think that it's all based on is the whole idea that keep everyone afraid and they'll consume. People worry about kids playing with guns or watching violent videos, some sort of culture of violence will take them over. Nobody worries about kids listening to thousands, literally thousands of songs about heartbreak, rejection, pain, misery, and loss. Did I listen to pop music because I was miserable? Or was I miserable because I listened to pop music? Thank you. 